Right, so let's look at uh, some uh, some blockchain background. So we'll have a look at how transactions are created and how these are built into blocks. And what we'll do is we'll add our own data onto the blockchain and show actually how it's how it's mined. Okay, so this is our basic uh, setup that that we have. What we have is a number of transactions that happen. We have an existing blockchain. So we have a block, this is the genesis block here. The miners then create a hash, so it's this kitkak256 hash. So they must produce the, the new hash for the block and whoever finds that will be rewarded uh, for their, their work. Then we create and get more transactions add a new block and what we must do is find the, the complete hash of all of the blockchain up to now. So we keep adding blocks and adding the hash functions on. When uh, we have new transactions, there's a certain amount of time that the miners will wait and gather together all the transactions. And then what they must do is create the new hash and then create a consensus around the hash. So whoever finds the right hash will transmit it to the rest of the miners and they'll all update their their existing blockchain so that they have the same. So this is good because if, if uh, there was to be miners which were destroyed on the network and there was at least one blockchain left, then we could rebuild the whole infrastructure from that blockchain. So nothing is really deleted uh, from the, the blockchain all the blocks exist and all the transactions exist. Then we get a concept of what's called the gas. So gas uh, is uh, 30 gas values, uh, is for one crypto hash, plus there's also a cost of six more gas elements for every 256 bits of, of data that, that we use. Okay, so in this example here, what we're going to do is, is stay, store the word hello in the blockchain in a transaction. So this is the hex equivalent of uh, hello, H-E-L-L-O. And then we're going to send the transaction from our account. That's account zero. Uh, and we're going to just load up with data. So there isn't a transaction from one account to another. This is purely as I adding... Uh, some data onto the onto the blockchain. Okay, so that's that's how it works. So now let's look at a real example. So here we are. So uh, Ethereum is running just now, and we're on this block number. We can see the hash number of that uh, block. So what we'll do is that uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll add some data. So we'll add the word hello, just in case we want to save the word hello for later. Okay, so we're going to do it, but we're just going to make sure that the miners are actually stopped. So I'm just going to attach my console, just to show you uh, that nothing really happens uh, in creating the blockchain unless we have the miners started. I just make sure the miners are actually stopped just now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just load up some data. Uh, so I've already converted this into hexadecimal, but it just says the word hello. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to send the transaction. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, We'll just authenticate ourselves. Okay, so this is account account zero uh, just now. Oops. Okay, so there's the two accounts on the system. We're taking this account here. There should be some credits in that account, so we should be able to pay the miners uh, for our work. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, send that transaction in. And we can see it's submitted here. So we can actually see it's getting ready to be mined, but nothing 
will happen. So we have a transaction number. So what we can actually do is, is have a look to see uh, the details of that transaction. Transaction. And that transaction number is here. Okay, so there it is. So the one thing to notice there is there's no block number and there's no hash. So it hasn't actually been mined yet. So we can see there's the input. So there is our input string. So there is data there and the transaction is really just floating until our miners actually start. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and start our miners. Yeah, we can see them starting to work. Looks like they're 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 creating a new mining record. Okay, so you can see they're going ahead and they're creating new blocks. So what we'll do is we'll just stop them now, and we'll go back to our transaction. And there you go. Okay, so there's block number 5179. Uh, this is my ID here. Okay, and uh, we can see the transaction now as a, as a block hash. So we've added the transaction onto block 5179. Okay, so we can see here there's a without the miner, start the miner. And then eventually we should see our hash, the block hash, and the block number. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the the block. We're going to get the whole block. So we're looking at five one seven nine. There won't be any other transactions because we've we're not uh, adding any other transactions here. So if we look at this block, so this is our block. So when we look back at our our diagram, okay, this is the the block here, the block, and we can see uh, the hash. We can see the hash there for that whole block. And then what we should see is one or more transactions. So in this case, it's only our transaction. This was our transaction here, and it's been added onto the onto the the, uh, the block. Okay, it's cost us some gas to to be able to get that that mined, but hopefully it's worth it. So now what we'll do is we'll have a look at uh, that transaction. So then it's transactions zero is our number. Uh, we can put the the ID there, but it's probably easier if I just put a zero. So this is transactions zero, and there it is there. Okay. So in this case, uh, the value that we have for input is hello. Okay, so that's how we add data onto a blockchain. It's there forever. It's never going to be deleted. Uh, our transaction is non-reputable. Uh, we know when it happened and and when it was mined, and uh, you can see the data there. Okay, so hopefully that's explained how we can set up transactions blocks and miners a little bit about gas and then also how we can add our own data to the blockchain so it's going to be quite costly if we add too much data to the blockchain so we typically keep the data quite small uh, 
just now because it's going to be costly uh, and this is the way that we can convert things like images, audio and so on but normally what we would do is we would get a hash of a file and we might add the hash onto the onto the blockchain and that gives us uh, a basic check uh, of uh, when the, the, the file existed. Okay, thanks.